Hi everyone. The story of my code is really simple. We have a robot who's asking the user for an even number and essentially the robot's job is to add one to whatever even number the user inputs. And so I'll run the program right now and I'll show you guys um, how it works. So the robot says give me an even number and I'll add one to it. So I'll input uh, two. And then the robot says calculating the sum of the numbers after adding is three. Wow, that was fun. And I'll just show you I'll just show you guys what happens if I enter an odd number. So again, the robot says give me an even number and I'll add one to it, and um, I'll input uh, three. Wait a second, that's an odd number. So as you can see, uh, that that's essentially what the program does. It's really simple. Um, I used an if else statement in particular for this program because I, I thought it was the most efficient way to go about um, achieving what I wanted to do, which is which, which is um, was just to ask the user for an even number, then add one to it, else um, say something else, right? So with the odd number part, this might be um, a section where students or inexperienced students might be confused um, because uh, in order for this portion uh, for these statements under the else block to run um, this condition needs to be false and this condition with using the modulo operator might be a little bit confusing or something that inexperienced students might not understand uh, for those who are familiar with computer programming we know that a number mod 2, when that equals 0, we know it's an even number. Um, or the number is an even number. And we know that when a number mod 2 is not equal to 0, then it's an odd number. right? So that might be a concept that students might not be familiar with. Um, but it's not a particularly hard concept um, at the same time. So. Really, that's just my code. When the user inputs an even number, then this condition is true, and the statements under this block, this if block, runs. If this condition is false, like when the user inputs an odd number, then these con then these conditions, or excuse me, these statements here under the else block runs. Um, so that's my code. I hope all of you enjoyed it.